what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here with the one and only you know what it is joe joe's bizarre adventure is back in the house once again we're here with the third whatever you want to call it church chapter of jojo's we're here with the stardust crusaders man it has been a journey we have had a journey and then at the end of the season at the end of um what we just watched <laughs> months ago when we finished that up before i took the break man it was something it seems like Dio is going to come back. Of course, he's a fan favorite. He's one of my favorite characters too, but he is a villain, so I can't really cheer for him. I don't like cheering for villains, um, you know, unless they're gonna have some sort of redemption arc. <laughs> but, you know, there are some villains that you're gonna love. You kind of love, you kind of hate to love them. You know what I mean? Um, so Dio is one of those for me. Um, so we also have the, the story. I'm pretty sure as the story goes along, I'm going to remember most of what was going on and stuff like that um, as we go along. Um, it's been months since I watched JoJo. So and now we're in like the beginning of September right now where I'm jumping back in. Um, these episodes, as you're watching this, like is when I decide to put out these episodes and make sure that I have enough of these episodes to put up because I do want when I start one of these series whether it's you know what I'm saying I want to make sure that I have at least 10 episodes so you guys can get two episodes per day for a week even if you're not going to get another 10 the next week I want to have 10 so you have episodes Monday through Friday going so that that's my plan for the channel going forward of course so i just want you guys to know that so that was my plan going forward with the channel so anything that you see that starts um just hopefully i can do it or i'll make sure that i have at least 10 episodes from monday through friday for y'all okay so that's what i'm trying to do hopefully i can do that for you guys whether it's for a tv show whether it's for um for anime whatever i do on the channel i want to be able to do that because also because of early access um release with them having it a week early but that only goes for new shows as i've said before only new shows on the channel so jojo's will continue on the channel as promised as it was going on before so this is only early access is only for the new stuff that are going to be on the channel so i just wanted you guys to know that okay so in any case, by now, you guys should know that memberships are available on the channel. So if you want to see th that stuff that is out early on the channel, which is there's going to be two things, two new animes that are going to be for early access, which is going to be Slam Dunk and Monster. I, um, yeah, so Slam Dunk and Monster will be early reaction. The other stuff is going to be TV shows, which is Dark is going to be there for early reactions. Um, I've already, I've already, um, dived into dark a little bit um i don't i'm not done with the first season yet but by the time i'm pretty sure by the time you guys start seeing jojo's reaction dark should be out and ready and season one should be out on the channel not just for early access by the time you guys are seeing jojo's on the channel because um jojo's is one of those series that i don't want to rush through because i enjoy just the aesthetic of this of this anime is so unique and that's why i i fallen in love with it per se so i'm looking forward to that anyways let's jump in and see what the new storyline is going to be about what are these stardust crusaders what is this about and also learn some more lore behind jojo's bizarre adventure but anyways guys thank you guys so much you already know what the deal is all these files are going to be on the google drive which is something that i'm trying to change um hopefully once i decide to ask you guys to help me get this stuff to a different medium you guys can we can all pitch in and get this done because i do have an option to propose but i'm so afraid to pro propose it because i do not want to pay for this um by myself i would to be honest if if i really want <laughs> it's 
not that I don't really want it. <laughs> I really want it, but I just don't want to pay it, pay for it by myself because, um, you know, Google Drive is not super expensive, but it's limited. You get what I'm trying to say? If I don't want that limitation, I have to go to another platform, and the other platforms are not providing the price that Google is Google Drive is providing. And if I want unlimited amount of uploads with no repercussions whatsoever, I have to go that route. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know now. But anyways, this, this intro has gone on long enough. Thank you guys so much. You already know it's gonna be a break, and then the review. But make sure you go watch the reaction first. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. See y'all for that. All right. So that was episode one and two of Stardust Crusaders. I think this is the third part of JoJo. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, man. What can I say? I enjoy this series. I said so in the intro. That has not changed. And to jump right back into this is one of the most exaggerated anime. And I enjoy it so much. And I can see why this anime has such a cult following. And so many memes about this anime has been made. Because everything is just so exaggerated in such a way where it's, where it's just like it's fun. There's also a serious tone to the anime also. But at the same time it's just like there's just certain things that just happen in this anime that you that you're not just not going to see in other animes like a dude calling his mom a bitch for no reason <laughs> it's just like why is it because of the stan why he does that there's no context behind it so you just have to sit here like you disrespectful <laughs> piece of shit why you get what i'm saying until there's something that happens it's not and and then he's gonna turn around and ask her if she's okay. It's just like, come on, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I don't think I've ever seen that in any other anime before, where I see a son disrespecting a mom. That's just not a part of Japanese culture, in my opinion. Like, I think I just think that th there's this sense of um, honor behind the Japanese culture and it's not just because of movies you watch or you know what I'm saying how it is depicted in 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 theaters or whatever the situation is right it's not just because of that is because I could tell you it is like that it is like that there's just this sense of honor when you're among Japanese people you get what I'm saying um you, you can see it from when you talk to them how they respond back to you even though when I went there, I didn't speak any English, no Japanese or anything. It's very few things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to be basically walking around with a translator the whole damn time. You get what I mean? So, it was a little frustrating, yes, at first. But then after a while, I realized that most of these people, and there's a lot of English speaking Japanese. Just the way how they speak it, you just got to understand and just move on. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not going to sound like me. They're not going to sound American. They're going to sound like them. You know what I mean? And first of all, you know what I'm saying? I don't expect to go to, to Japan or or any of these other countries that don't that are not English speaking countries. And then I'm going to expect, expect them to be speaking English. I'm the odd man out. You know what I'm saying? It's not like America. You know what I'm saying? It's not like America. And, and this is not anything that I'm going against when it comes on to you know other people that comes to the country um speaking different languages and then expect the country to to kind of um just assimilate to them you get what i'm saying um you know i've never expected that and this is not because english was my primary language you get what i'm saying this, that's not it it's just that i feel like the whole thing when you know when you um I feel like everybody needs to be included, but it's kind of wrong, in my opinion, to go to somebody's country and be like, why ain't nobody here speak English? Why you don't speak English? You get what I'm saying? Like, um, there's a situation when it, where I live in, in, you know what I'm saying, in Miami, Florida, where it's like, you cannot, most jobs, you can't get them unless you speak Spanish. You can't get them. You have to speak both languages. It's so weird to me. 
You get what I'm saying? It's like in some places, I think it's, I think it's like that in California too. Um, where it's like, there's a mandate now for people to, to, to speak Spanish. And I'm like, why is that? You get what I'm saying? Why don't you meet? So I meet so many people, lat Latino people nowadays that they don't, they don't have to learn to speak English. It is not a requirement in this country anymore. It seems to speak English. It's like, it's a Spanish speaking country now. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, as I said, this is no flack against Latino people because I know it's not them. It's just how the country I have assimilated and to, you know, to become where it's, where it's like the English speaking people have to learn Spanish, but the Spanish people don't have to learn how to speak English. It's not a requirement for them. They don't care <laughs> in my opinion. So if, if, if they, if they, if the country is going to assimilate to them, you get what I'm saying? Like, why should they care anyways? You get what I'm saying? So, um, especially it's very, very in, in um, in South Florida, um, where I live. So it's like, um, it's just crazy. But in any case, you know, um, I just love the culture. I love the culture of the Japanese man and what they portraying in this anime. They're doing it very well. Um, there's not much about, there was a lot of information packed into those first two episodes. I kind of want to know more about the stands per se. Is Dio going to have one now that he has freaking, um, Jonathan's body, you know, that he attached his head to. I'm wondering if that's the situation that's going to happen. Um, but I'm glad that Dio is back and he's seems like he's going to be that dude, the villain for this, um, third part of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do. You know what I mean? There's a lot of information there. They usually do start off the, the seasons or whatever with a bang. They usually do. So, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to present next because this shit is awesome. I love it. I enjoy it. As I said, one of the most aesthetically pleasing animes to look at. I love the fact that, you know, it's not so smooth, but you can see how the animation and stuff like that. I mean, I just enjoy this anime, man. I just enjoy it and I'm glad to be back reacting to it again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. It's your boy Terabai Reacts. And as always, man, leave a like on the channel. Leave a comment in the comment section as always. Let me know if you're enjoying these reactions, of course. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.